good. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, we're getting a little lesson right now from Sylvia. Am I doing all right? Yes, you're doing perfectly fine. Let's talk you're about. A natural <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, let's talk about Hispanic Heritage Month and the importance of salsa and how it all ties in. Salsa music and salsa dancing is a very important part of Hispanic culture. So I'm very proud to say that what we're doing is educating kids and adults about salsa music and salsa dance. We have the adults uh, dancing right now. We have the kids that are in class over here as well. And you do a lot of great work in the community getting the kids in here. Exactly. So we have four wonderful programs for kids starting with babies. Then we start them with enrollment classes from three-year-olds to ten-year-olds, and then we have the camp programs, and of course our scholarship program. I love that. Now, uh, to get people here to do salsa at seven o'clock in the morning, you said this is a small group. This is a lot of this people. This is a small group, actually. We have a huge community. On average, we have about 2,000 sign-ins every single month. So you can imagine between kids and adults, that's a lot of people. But what motivates them is the joy of dance, finding friends and just being a part of our community. So th that's really important, being part of the community. But let's talk about the benefits of salsa dancing. Benefits of any kind of dancing, but especially salsa dancing, is uh, health benefits because you get to do something active, you, have, you get to move around, but you also get to meet friends and be part of a huge friendly community. All right, I want to keep going here. Yes. By the way, salsa songs are really long. Yes, they are. I'm always like, how many, they're still dancing. This is they're one song. <laughs> All right, here we go. Five, six, seven. Left, right. How long Left. does it take someone to learn how, I right. mean. It takes about four weeks to get down the basics. And then from there, you just have to keep going and be persistent. I mean, this is my second class. I've been here and before. And you're doing so. pretty good. But it's been a year since I've been you here. You should so. come back, though. Oh, I you like it. All right, let's do a little back. twist or a spin. Yes. Hispanic <laughs> Heritage Month, and they are celebrating with some salsa dancing. We've been doing that this morning. But we're also learning about the programs that you have for kids here, which are so important. We do, kid. We have wonderful programs for children. We start them very early. And our approach with the very, very young kids is that we have a game-based approach. So we get them to learn in dance through games. That way, they don't feel like, oh, I'm taking this super strict class. Right. I don't like going. So they learn through games and they actually like coming here we don't like to see tears so that's how we start them and then at age five to seven it gets a little more structured and polished and they get to do their recitals and have fun with performing and uh, I always like to point out when we see children that are not on devices so this is an activity that gets your child off a device and look at how happy the kids are. That is so important to get them off devices and to get them to focus on something positive. And these kids right here, they're part of our scholarship team. We train them to dance and perform salsa. And salsa dancing, as you experience, is yes. very hard. Right? It is very hard. I'm a little sore and tired from it earlier this morning. Let's talk about it because it can be expensive dance classes. So how can kids that are watching right now, parents that have kids watching right now, get involved in these programs? So the scholarship program is for kids 8 to 12 years old. And all you have to do is audition from the, for the program. So you come here and we give the child a very simple pattern that they have to learn and show us. And if they make the audition, we train them for free or the fee is really small, $50, based on a monthly income for the family. That's incredible. And real quickly, I want to point out that uh, Sylvia left her government job after she was teaching salsa in her basement and has created this uh, amazing environment and community of uh, Salsa with Sylvia fans and friends that all come together each week from adults to children. And now you're adding Bethesda as a location. We do. We are actually opening a new location in Bethesda, in the heart of Bethesda. And guess what? We are offering free trials for kids and adults the first week of opening. So everyone can try us out. Get hooked on Salsa with Salsa uh, by Sylvia and with Sylvia. So after 9 o'clock, guys, uh, I am going to learn some of those dance moves and learn some salsa, and we'll teach you at home as well. For Salsa with Sylvia, we are celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, 
and we're learning the basics of salsa dancing. So let's start with that. If people at home are watching and you've always wanted to salsa dance. Salsa dance is for everyone. Okay. Anyone can learn. If you can learn, everybody can learn. I, she means me specifically, which I have been able to learn, which <laughs> says a lot. All right, so go forward on your left. Two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now you want to turn the lady. Uh -huh. Lift your hand. There you go. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's try that turn again. Uh huh. Very nice. One, two, three. You want to learn how to turn? So turn. Oh. Two, what three. Am I, oh, that's five, it. Five, <laughs> six, seven. One, two, three. There you go. Good. This, um. You could do this for hours. You can. I mean, that's the whole point behind social dancing. People come here to meet friends and be a part of a huge dance community. Anywhere you go, you'll see Salsa with Sylvia students. What makes it such a social dance? It is a very friendly environment. You can dance it in a very small space, as you can see. And the music is oh, wonderful, wonderful. And you get to ask different people to dance. You meet different people. You talk to different people. So it's a very, very social environment. So we have your adult students that are here. And we also have some of the kids students that are here this morning. Yes. I mean, look at them. They're wonderful. They're part of our scholarship team. And they actually perform salsa on stage, which takes a lot especially when you're that young. So we were talking earlier, you're opening up another location, Bethesda Row. By the way, you just opened up here on Georgia Avenue back in 2016. Congratulations on the success. Um, as you open up that new community, you're offering a week of free classes, which I think is brilliant, because if you've ever wanted to do salsa, this might be the time to get hooked on it, right? And not just salsa. For the kids, we start them with ballet and the foundations of dance, and then they go into salsa, because salsa is hard. So we start them with ballet and the importance of foundation of dance so kids and adults can get free classes and by the way it's really addicting because right now i just want to, all i want to do is dance again um and we should point out that sylvia used to have a government job she would teach salsa classes in her basement it got so big she opened this studio uh it has now expanded that you have 2,000 people. 2,000 sign-ins every single month. That is amazing. So Just to salsa dance. Story. And there's a lot of people here this morning. There's even more people here in the afternoon and all day long. Yes, we have people here all day long. We have parties. We have a Halloween party coming up. So check this out. All right, we're going to keep salsa dancing. All right, let's try that turn. Perfect. 